Uh, hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial and 100 Patreon followers. Thank you so much guys, you guys are awesome. And again, just a quick reminder, this PST file will be available on my Patreon. And if you want to get it, please check on the description as below. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And with that note, let's dive into the video. So first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new. And I'll just go for uh, 6 over 7 size and make the resolution as 300. Keep the color mode as RGB and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And right after that, uh, let's drag and drop this background image right over here. And let's keep it maybe somewhere over here. And after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. And let's convert it as a smart object. And Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's keep it right over here. And let's create a solid and let's give it a kind of darker color somewhere around here and let's add a new layer go to brush and let's go for a kind of soft brush sorry let's change the color to white and let's drop down the opacity just around there and let's merge these two layers so select both layer control e and after that go to filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and let's add some grain so go over here go to the effect tab and let's add some grains something like that and let's increase the vignetting too let's decrease the vignetting too so that we can get some dark round uh aces and let's click on okay and let's drop down the opacity just around here yep somewhere around here looks good to me now let's create a new layer and go to the brush again and let's go for powder explosion brush so if you want to get this brush please check on the description list below let's go with this one first and with the white color, let's add a brush. Maybe it's too big. Let's make it a little smaller. Yep, just like so. And now let's create another layer. And let's go for another brush. Let's say. Yep, let's go for this one and let's make it a little smaller. Yep, just like so. And let's create a one more layer and let's add very small right over here too. And now let's create a new layer. Go to the brush and let's go for a general soft brush. And let's squeeze the brush size. Just like so. Maybe some more. And let's change the rotation to zero. Yep, something like that. And let's change the color to kind of darker color. And let's add a contact shadow right over here. And maybe the one right over here too. And let's make a copy, control J. And let's keep it under this layer, Control T. Let's flip this and let's add a skew just like so. And let's go over here, add a color overlay, and let's go for a kind of darker color. Yep, something like that. And let's go to the filter and let's apply a Gaussian blur. And let's see, maybe let's add some more here, like that. And let's drop down the opacity 
just just like just like so and now let's create a new layer and let's right click and let's click on create clipping max and let's go with the general brush and let's add some dark shadows right over here yep just like so and now let's go over here add a new layer go to the brush again let's go for it with the white color and let's add a kind of soft glow right over here and let's drop down the opacity just like so and now let's create a one more layer again right click create clipping max and let's add some is glow so again i'm using the same white brush Yep, just like that. That's it. This is before and this is after. Let's uh, erase some of these parts from here. Yep, maybe something like that. And now let's do some uh, color adjustment. So select this layer, go to filter. Now let's go to the camera raw filter. And from here, let's go to the basic tab. And let's increase the shadows and let's drop down the whites and let's drop down the highlights too and from here let's increase the clarity and let's increase the texture let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the color noise reduction and let's increase the noise reduction too maybe something like that and let's increase the sharpening too and let's go to the color mixture and from here let's drop down the saturation for orange let's increase the luminance just a little touch and maybe decrease the shadows decrease the saturation for orange maybe somewhere around here and let's increase the blue let's increase the aqua and maybe from here let's change the aqua to more towards the green side maybe somewhere around here looks good to me now let's click on ok so this is what we have now let's do a simple color adjustment for this background layer too so select this layer go to filter and let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and i guess let's drop down the clarity a little bit and from here let's go to the detail tab and let's increase the noise reduction and color noise reduction some more and let's drop down the sharpening yep something like that and now let's add some text so go over here Now let's drag and drop this uh, texture image right over here and let's change the blending mode to multiply Control T let's make it a little bigger yep, something like that 
Uh, now let's make a copy, Control J, and let's keep it under above this layer, and let's click and right uh, create clipping max. So this layer will affect this text layer only. So let's make a one more copy, and again right click create clipping max. So yep, this is what we have. Let's add some other text on the bottom. And let's add oh, one more text. And let's increase the font size. And let's make it heavy. Yep, just like. So, and let's keep it right over here. And now let's add a rectangle. And let's change the color feel to maybe something like that. And control T, let's make it a little smaller. And alt and drag, let's make a copy. Yep, so like that. And let's make another copy, Control J. Let's keep it one right over here, Control T. And let's add a date. So Control J, let's keep it one right over here. And let's make this a little darker yep something like that and let's make this text a little smaller now let's add a gradient map so go over here let's add a gradient map and from here let's change the color to maybe this one and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some color adjustment so, Yep, let's see. Yep, let's keep it somewhere around here. And again, let's add a oh, one more text. And now let's add a color balance and from here Let's go more toward yellow. Now let's go more toward cyan. Let's increase a little bit of green. So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.